Hi everyone, I'm Mike Jacoby from Lucid Vision Labs, and let me present to you the Triton 10 IP67 10 Gigi camera. Just like our Triton Gigi and Triton 2 2.5 Gigi cameras, the Triton 10 is factory tough, with certification against physical shocks and vibration, EMC industrial immunity, robust M12 connectors for both the 10 gigabit ethernet port and 17 pin GPIO, on camera frame buffer, power over ethernet, IP67 dust and water protection when you connect one of our IP67 lens tubes and cables, and support for RDMA data transfer. More on that feature later in the video. It's lightweight and compact, weighing just 243 grams and measuring 44 by 44 by 82 millimeters. It features a wide operating temperature range of minus 20 to 55 degrees Celsius ambient without the need for heat sinks or fans. Current available models feature Sony's Pregius S back illuminated CMOS sensors, which offer exceptional imaging performance with excellent dynamic range, high quantum efficiency, and low noise. Now, before I get into more detail about some of those features I just mentioned, I want to talk about one of the best reasons to consider this 10 giggy camera for your next vision application, and that is price. Straight up, the Triton 10 is a family of 10 giggy camera models, but priced more competitively to 5 giggy models with equivalent sensors. For example, let's take a snapshot of the prices of our 5 megapixel Prejuice S models. You'll see that the Triton 10 is priced very closely against our 5 giggy Atlas models. But let me add a little more context to that. Our 12.3, 8.1, and 5 megapixel models are able to provide frame rates that reach the maximum that 10 giggy bandwidth can provide. Our 24.5, 20.4 and 16.2 megapixel models offer slightly lower frame rates below the 10 giggy max, but these three models still offer much higher maximum frame rates than 5 giggy. So for those of you who have a 1 giggy application and were looking to make the jump to 5 giggy, you may want to take a closer look at the Triton 10. You can still run the Triton 10 camera at 5 giggy, 2.5 or 1 giggy speeds. And when you're ready to upgrade the rest of your infrastructure to maximize the Triton 10, you can. Now a few features I want to dig into a little more that I think are the most interesting for this camera are RDMA, which stands for Remote Direct Memory Access, the on-camera frame buffer, the 17-pin GPIO, and one additional feature I haven't mentioned yet, and that is active sensor alignment. RDMA allows the camera to stream data directly to the host PC's memory, bypassing the OS and CPU. That means that no CPU resources are used to manage the data stream from the cameras, freeing up the CPU for other tasks. RDMA is part of the Gigi Vision 3.0 standard, and all Triton 10 models support this new standard. You'll need an RDMA network interface card to enable this streaming protocol, and Lucid has cost-effective RDMA NICs to get you started. RDMA provides reliable, efficient, low-latency image transfers and is very beneficial, especially when you have multiple 10 giggy cameras streaming simultaneously. Now, that being said, the Triton 10 is still very efficient using the more traditional UDP protocol for data transfers. Some of you may not need RDMA, or you don't plan to upgrade your network cards just yet. The Triton 10 gives you the option to use RDMA or UDP when the camera is set to 10 giggy. For those who choose to use UDP for 10, 5, 2.5, or 1 giggy speeds, our lightweight filter driver provides optimized and efficient UDP data transfers. Now, I've mentioned that RDMA provides reliable data transfers, and that's mainly because we're eliminating any CPU bottleneck associated with the CPU having to manage the image stream. But it's also reliable because of the 880 megabytes of on-camera frame buffer, which enables a type of flow control that provides packet retransmission. Basically, the most recent image frames are temporarily stored on the camera buffer while it's streaming, and in the case that any packets are dropped on the network, the camera is able to retransmit those packets. Packet retransmission is available for both RDMA and UDP data transfers. So whichever data protocol you choose or whatever speed the camera is running at, packet retransmission 
gives you another additional layer of reliability, which is important, especially for those running mission critical applications with complex network topologies. Okay, let's move on and talk about the 17 pin GPIO. Unlike our other camera families, which have eight pin GPIOs, this is the first camera family to use 17 pins. We wanted to expand the GPIO functionality to directly support RS-422 differential inputs, which allows the camera to directly interface with quadrature encoders, which can provide precise speed, position, and motion feedback to the camera. The GPIO, of course, includes opto-isolated and non-isolated inputs and outputs as well. And the last thing I want to talk about is the benefit of active sensor alignment. Active sensor alignment is a manufacturing process that mounts the sensor onto the PCB in a position that is optically aligned to the center of the lens barrel of the camera case. As the sensor begins its placement on the PCB, the mounting system begins to constantly measure and make tiny micro adjustments in real time until the sensor is aligned and mounted. One of the best ways to highlight the benefit of active sensor alignment is to explain the opposite of what might happen without it. So imagine buying a camera unit for development and you want to spec out the precise placement of the camera within your vision application. You've done all the testing and finalized your measurements and you've identified the exact placement based on that camera unit you have. But after receiving further camera units, you find the sensor alignment at some units is slightly off to the point you have to make tiny adjustments to its placement. You also find that some units have darker image corners or are blurry in certain sections of the image. Now you have to check and test every camera unit to make sure they're within spec, return the units that aren't, and wait again for replacement units and test again. This is not something any engineer wants to deal with. All Triton 10 cameras go through active sensor alignment, making sure the sensor is properly centered and optically aligned to the lens barrel, ensuring crisp and clear images from the center of the image to the edges for each and every camera. The Triton 10 IP67 10 gig camera is packed with industrial features that can take your machine vision application to the next level with a cost that's competitive with five giggy cameras. It really is a versatile camera thanks to its IP67 protection, small size, with its RDMA and UDP data transfer protocols. It's backwards compatible with five, two and a half and one giggy speeds, allowing you the flexibility to utilize higher speeds when you are ready. For more information about the Triton 10, please visit thinklucid.com. Thanks so much for watching and stay lucid.